How's it going, fams and fam? It's YouTube boy Kelly Jacks here, and welcome back to I've Got a Box Dot series. Uh, it's time for Chaos Cards. Yeah. Thank you, my boys at Chaos Cards. You're amazing people for selling me your amazing stuff. I'm not an addict. I'm bad, and that's good. It's okay to be bad. I'll never be good. And that's not bad. I think that's how the thing goes. Okay, so what am I going to do? So we've got much stuff. We have five packs of Battlebond. Like five of salespeople. I should have six packs of Battlebond, even. Can you tell I want Dublin Season? Uh, four packs of. Three packs of Steam Siege, two of Magic Origins, uh, an Almond Cat Fat Pack, which was like £10 less than normal. Uh, two of these special zombie tokens from the Zombie Eternal set. The Zombie, you mean Eternal Token season. Oh, damn it. I wanted these because although I've got some already, I don't. I never pulled a zombie one. It's actually cheaper to get them than the packs actually bring them over. The <clears throat> Maybe not in the whole, but like the bulk like, but when you want a specific one. I mean, the uh, giving ones are very expensive because they're like five pounds. I think. Well, they were definitely more expensive than the others. And the foils, of course, are more expensive. But I don't really care if they're. Tokens using the um, cat artworks, I think. Exception, I think that. I think because I think the you know, artwork is keeping the tribes. And we have some cards, some singles, a box. Mostly really cheap stuff. Because, not because I want to be cheap, but because it's old stuff. Which I will attempt to open up. Armor Trolls. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, armor Troll, Thrall, two of those. Basal Troll, two of those, because you can sacrifice it to basically add the mana across from your upkeep. Uh, Mountain Yeti, because it's Mountain Wall Protection from White, which looks kind of funny. <coughs> Wall of Shadows. It's essentially indestructible. <coughs> uh, is that a comet? I think it is. Vampire Hounds. Very cost. Choose any discard creature card that gets plus two plus two now. Which is actually kind of good in Madness decks. <laughs> um, I assume this was Polyfarm, but it's also just, it's just a decent card for its era. Uh, we have Maniacal Rage, which actually was printed in. I want to say one of the Elm Cat blocks, I think. Uh, Onslaught. When you successfully cast a creature spell, tap to hard creature. One cost. I think, although even for now, it's actually kind of good. <coughs> Raging Goblin. Uh, unaffected by something seems it's just a haste from eight eras gone by. And I really want to make like a lit, like an old vintage style deck. Uh, Phyrexian Razor. Jura, whenever it comes to play, you draw a card and lose one life. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3 and you get a draw hit. And I got four of those because I thought it was really good. <coughs> Could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. <coughs> The Selenes Selesnia Guild Gate for my um because I got the guild kits, so I want to replace all the stuff in them with hollows as well as much as I can. Foils, hollows, Blech. uh, and two grandy shield mates in hollow. For those foil, God. uh, a foil island for uh, my Tesseret deck, a foil skill animator for my Tesseret deck, um, a foil planes for my. These are all for my Origins deck. So, well, Instincts, 
uh, some Voldarian Wonder Warden, uh, Vine Snare, uh, a Mighty Leap, and two should be two Star Havens. Yeah, this is all stuff from my Magic Garage in the structure deck as well. <coughs> Just because I like to make structure decks full hollow as much as I can, it's kind of my thing. But now on to the main course, which is of course the boosters. I will do the uh, fat pack in it. I will do the fat pack and the two origins in its own separate video because there's already a lot to go through. We will do the six battle bond and the four steam siege. Maybe. And it's here. <coughs> so I have to open these back to front because they're weird. From the Japanese printing press. One, two, three, five. So this should be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be right. Okay. Uh, we got Slum Reaper, so I might count this one. So this is one of the uncommon Slum Reaper for cast. In this battlefield, each player sacrifices a creature. We have Bloodthorn Scoundrels. Okay. Uh, Aurora Champion. Um, Sickle Dancer, Saddleback Lagak, Wrap in Flames, uh, Coral Warrior. So that was. Wasn't that printed in. Um, it was Ravnica? Spell Weaver Duo, so 7 cost with assist. And it's about feeling maybe trying to target type creatures on his hand. That's terrible. <coughs> Millennial Gargoyle, uh, a Battle Rampart, 3 cost with Vanguard Kings. Can you can give creature haste on your turn? Uh, uncommon, we have Desecrated, Decorated Champion, even. Uh, two cost, two, two. Whenever another warrior enters the battlefield under team's control, you can put a plus and plus one counter on it. It's also a Gnelf! It doesn't look, it doesn't actually look like a Gnelf, though. It looks more like a human, but okay. And we have, uh, we have a rare, which is Sylvia Brightspear, <coughs> which partners with Corvac Bright Flame. I saw him this guy several times. And an Eager Construct Hollow. <clears throat> yeah, I had this guy before. I should build a uh, a, a partner deck. And um, we have a swamp. <clears throat> and a warrior token. Which looks like a Khans of Tarkir guy. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, coughs. <clears throat> Some of the foils are just really pretty, actually. Even if they're not good cards, they're just really we have got Peace Strider, and it's about to be gain through life. Cow Prowler, Nimbus of the Isles, Canopy Speeder, Combo Attack. Two target creatures you team controls each deal damage equal to their power to target creature. Not bad. Uh, Bull Rush Bruiser, and it attacks each team controls on the war. Bull Rush target gets first strike land turns, 4 3. Not bad. Uh, Pacifism, Eternal Card, yeah. obviously this is for draft. Uh, Fill with Fright, Raptor Companion, uh, Rocks Brute, this is the 4 4 for 4, and we have an Uncommon, which is Oris Cost Ex Explorer, it's 2 cost. It goes on a fucking cash! And then spout field to your library for up to X planes, where X is the number of players who control more lands than you. Reveal those cards, put them in your hand, and shuffle your library. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Uh, it's a card in Commander, I guess. Uh, we have Savage Vent Maw. It is a green, blue, red. Uh, six cost, four, four flying dragon. When it attacks, add. Add six mana in colors of red and green to your mana pool. Pays for itself. Until end of turn. Oh, until end of turn, you don't lose this mana that steps and pays his end. So you just add it. So it's like, oh, I just put in my main base, do whatever. Interesting. It's a lot of mana. It's a massive mana rock creature. Um. We have Juggernaut. Hey, I'm the bloody Juggernaut! Uh, Taxis, Combable, Chasm of Block by Walls. 
It's actually the worst version of a different Juggernaut from a previous set, I think. Which was, like, really good, because it doesn't untap during the untap step, but if it creature dies, it untaps. Which means that if your opponent can't block it, if your opponent has to block it and the creature dies, just untap and attack again. Give it something that gives it first strike for that uh, switch here. And it's amazing. And we have a Mythic, which is Bramble Sovereign. Wrong Mythic, should have gotten Goblin Season. Uh, whenever another Kong creature token enters the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do, that creature controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature. I like. Within this grove, you belong to me. Also, the dryer, which is cool. And it plans. Plans. And another Khan warrior. I am a Khan. Khan! Jokes about Khans are funny and stuff. <coughs> Pack number three. Uh, Millennial Gargoyle. <laughs> Lightning Talons. Spell we are. Charging Rhino. Uh, Sears Lantern, it's nice because it adds mana to mana pool to subscribe. Uh, Wrapping Flames. Doom Traveler. Uh, Claustrophobia. And so that field tap between any greater and which doesn't tap. It's okay. Uh, Doom Dissenter. Three prints very, very quickly one after another because I'll cat this and then M19. Uh, and then shoulder to shoulder, it supports stuff. Uh, we have an uncommon, which is full center. Take up arms. Uh, create three white one white one one white warrior creature tokens. Not that great because um, there is a goblin card which actually doesn't slightly make sense in this, but creates four. Just saying. Um, <clears throat> and you know, goblins are uh, better tribal, I guess. Uh, Switcheroo. There's also an M19, I think. Uh, Blaze deals X damage to any target, so a strictly better fireball. And then Regna's Sanction. For cost, for each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend puts a plus one, plus one counter on each creature they control. Each foe chooses one untapped creature they control and then taps the rest. It's just... <laughs> this is like a Monopoly card. And the, what, I, what I call a Monopoly card is a card that will make you get punched in the face very quickly. <laughs> just don't like you. Fuck you. Tap everything except one thing. I like you though, you're a friend, you get plus one plus one. Very, very, very easy way to piss people. And we have a swing. And a zombie, by the way. <clears throat> and we are halfway, oh, halfway through this. I think I'll open the um, Steam Siege in a separate video actually, because this is getting on a bit. And we've got. Ooh, she's. Uh, Kraken Hatchling, but at least a Kraken. Uh, Night Market Guard. Can walk an additional creature to combat, but it's a 3 1, so. Uh, it's a good elf. It's a good elf. Impulse. Stadium Vendors. Oh, 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 oh. It's a good elf. Uh, Centaur Healer. Passes him again. Fan favorite, use the play assist. Uh, two, you get plus off of them from the turn. Any player may activate this ability. Neat. It's also 2 2 for 4. Uh, Royal Trooper. 3 cost 2 2. When you attack blocks, you get plus 2 plus 2 in the turn. Okay. Uh, Kite Sail Corsair. 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 Um, Gold Forge Sentinel. It's a Vigilance. It's a flying chimera, which is more goat than anything else. It's a 4-4 four, four for 6 flying, artifact boy. Uh, we have a vampire charm seeker, has assist ability for 6 flying. When you're into that field, we'll turn to an instant sorcerer or creature and get rid of it on his hand. Okay. And we have a lava field overlord, which is an assist boy, which is a big ass dragon. For 9 mana, or assist 7. And in the battlefield, he deals 4 damage to target creature the party patrols. It's. The same problem I have with this is the same problem I have with uh, Delve. 
it makes the mana cost way too high, in my opinion. And we have an uncommon with a rare, which is Vigor. It's a six cost. Trampler. It's an elemental incarnation. Uh, six. So it's six, six for six. Trample. If damage would be dealt to another creature, you control, bear in that damage. Put a one, one counter on that creature for each one damage rendered this way. When it is put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into its owner's library. This is bullshit. Love it. <laughs> this is bullshit, and I love it. And we have a mutant. All these different arenas. And it's a beast, 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 beast. I might have to make like a beast, like a green stupid you deck now. That just focuses on being a dick. Uh, so we've got. Tyrant's Machine, Battle Ramper, Soaring Show Off, 3 cost 2 2, and it ends Battlefield. Each player draws a card. Daggerback Basilisk, it's a 3 cost 2 2 Death Dodger, so not bad. Uh, Stadium Vendors, Alice Rep Blade Seeker, 3 cost, when it ends Battlefield. Each player may, your team may discard a card, then each player who discards a card this way draws a card. Neat. Uh, Lightwalker has flying. I'm gonna put some of this one on. Neat. Uh, I Blight Assassin. I inspire a field target through your opponent's control to get one from off until the end of the turn. Royal Trooper again. Uh, we have an uncommon, so we're starting to get uncommons now. And uh, we've got Calametra's Favor. Two cost or a tank creature and inspire for a card. Has enchanted creature has add one to mana of any color. Hey, look, it becomes a Birds of Paradise. <laughs> um, okay. And we have Quest for the Grave Lord, Quest Boys. Whenever you die, you may put a quest counter on this. Remove three quest counters from this quest and sacrifice a greater 5 5 black zombie creature giant token. 5 5 black zombie giant creature token. Yeah. Actually, pretty good if you know what you're doing. And we have Unflinching Courage, as we cost. Enchant creature, you get plus two plus two and has trample and life link. I run this in my um. I'm going to run this in my. I've already got a couple of these, but I'm going to run it in my um a Johnny Dick. It's just hilarious. And we have a rare, which is game plan. Okay, assist. Another player can play up to five of this card spell cost. Each player shoves their hand in grave into the library, then draws seven cards. Exile game plan. <laughs> <laughs> just to restart the game, guys. Except not the field, but still. Uh, and we have a rare holographic in Victory Chimes. I mean, foil. Untap it during your turn on players' turn tap step. A player of your choice adds a colorless mana. Again, another one of those cards is really good in Commander. Damn. And it's in foil, which is like, wow. And a Islam. Islam and a Zambi. And last pack. I would have cried if that was a doubling season foil. I would have cried. That's like, what, 100 quid, probably? Uh, so no regulars are 50. Uh, Tyrant's Machine. Dagger Home. Dome Imp. Charm Imp. Charging Land. Uh, Negate. Borderland Woman Water. Combo Attack. Rock Feaster Maggot. Doom Traveler. Shock. And painful lesson. Uh, I think that's more commons. Yep. Uh, blood feud. Six cost target creature fights another target creature. So you choose a creature from control. Main the fight on the creature from control, basically. Uh, Oracle of Insight. Four cost. And ten creature. Ten creature has quite one and a card. Eight. Uh, long road home. Dang, dang, dang. No. Uh, Enzo's target creature. Beginning of the night. Up tap. End step. Return the card onto the battlefield under its own control. You plus and plus some counter on it. Hmm. Neat. Uh, and we have Apocalypse Hydra. It is a red green, so a glow card basically. Ends the battlefield with X plus some plus on it. If X is five or more, it ends the battlefield with an additional X plus some plus some counters on it. You can pay two in red, remove a plus one of them, one from it, and deals one damage to any target. So it's a drag. It's Look at this thing! It's a giant. I'd like it. Like there's Sarah Angel there, I think. I think that's a Johnny. Armor, a Johnny, and other back to another cat. 
There's a lot going on in this picture. And finally, we have if it was. I think not just about one of everything. Uh, forest, this land, and swamp. Yeah, we just about got one of each uh, color in the lands. So yeah, that not bad to be honest. I mean, no doubling season, but she'd have to really look at me. You got a mythic, so. <laughs> and you guys, this is it for this video here. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. This guy Jackson signing off. I need to drink of water. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye, fam.